Good morning, everyone. I'm out here this morning at daybreak. I'm going to fix up a nice fire. I've brought out my cup of coffee, and I hope everybody else is somewhere that's peaceful and nice morning. Uh, anyway, I'm going to make a fire. Here I go. Got my little uh, marshmallow kind of light, and I got a piece. I just got a little chunk off of my fire log, just a little piece of it. Of course, I understand that some of y'all are going to bed, you know, going to... Uh, it's late. It's your night, and uh, where it's my day, and you're going to go to bed. So I wish you uh, a good evening. Okay, I'm going to put some more logs and sticks on that. Got a few uh, tree limbs this time. Yeah. Get a little more. Okay, I think I'll bring y'all around on this side so you can see the fire a little better. If it, I don't know if y'all remember me uh, going to Tractor Supply and... Uh, Buying that those those balls to drop in this pool to break down that green slime and between that and the rain, I think it's really starting to work some. It looks so much better. And like the day that it we had that storm come through with rain, it sort of pushed that stuff down to the end of the pool there, you know, near the the steps. And I saw it, and so I thought, well. Just let me get a broom and just sweep that out. So that's what I did. And I didn't get it all out, but I got a lot of it out. I just swept it right off the top onto the deck. And uh, it just disappeared in the sun. So um, anyway, that's, it has helped. I think it has helped. Seems like it, right, the stuff is in clumps or puts it together floating its clumps and you can get it out better. But anyway... Let me get some of my coffee.
we are. I got my cup out here today. The one that I use this little top on. Of course, you could use this little top off of candles on most cups. This is old heavy clay cup that I don't care anything about. I think it says Cozumel, somebody's souvenir. Oh, gosh. Okay, and I'm going to sit it right on the edge here by my fire. Now, I don't, I don't know what else video I'll make today, but I know that I will. Uh, I don't, I, you know, I don't really, my mind is at a blank right now. But, uh, it, and I may, go, I may go over there to the thrift store. I may do that. Uh, I may go, uh, there's a man over there that has uh, dementia. And uh, my husband likes to sit and talk to him. So he's always saying, let's, let's go over there and see if um, Mr. Davis is there. So uh, they're about the same age. And, uh, but anyway, he likes to go over there and talk with him. So It's kind of nice. He and his wife go over there, and he sits down on a sofa uh, while she shops. And, you know, he can't hear very well, and he's just constantly repeating himself. And uh, he has a slight dementia, enough to where he, you know, he's smart enough to know he needs to stay put, you know, in that sofa. So, anyway, and I see his wife's son. She's a nice lady. And, um, um, you know, he enjoys talking to him. So, but anyway, the fire looks good. I'm going to bring y'all down a little more. Now y'all don't want to be seeing my face all the time. There it is. And you can also see a little bit of that daybreak there. Coming through the trees. Boy, I think I could build a fire on top of the lake. I've been building a fire since I was a little kid, so um, I, I guess I'm good at it. I think I really learned when I was. I. I the, Thought I was buying this property, at least. Now, 15 acres there. And I farmed it, and I had some orchards, and, and I had some chickens, and I had everything. And uh, But I was building a house at the time, and I didn't have any heat system in it, and I was living in a house trailer beside the house that was being built. And um, I had to light a fire. My point in my story is I had to light a fire to stay warm. I had one of those big old box Ashley stoves, which really heats up the place. And I guess that's where I really came into really burning a fire. I, I burned a fire some when my kids were babies. I um, had, a, had a fire box in my big living room there and um, I burned it every day and I cooked on it too didn't have to but I did because I enjoyed it and then when I moved out to a farm I um, had to burn to stay warm in the house you know and I had to get up in the a.m. and keep the fire going uh, so I pretty much learned how to burn make a fire easy but nowadays you got those little, those logs and the little starters, which makes it nice. You don't have to work with it. But um, I guess that's why I enjoy. I really enjoy a fire. I need to find me some type of 
pine or something that will crack and pop. And I love that. I guess uh, there's some things I guess I could explain. Uh, someone asked me, do I burn candles all over the house? I buy so many. Do I just have candles burning all over the house? No, I don't. As a matter of fact, I have one candle. It's Right now it's an apple candle. And I'm burning that. And I have one of those little ceramic uh, um, shades over it to catch the suet and I burn that scarcely like that you know maybe a little bit in the morning if I'm staying in if I'm up really early um, I burn it and then I, I, I put I have a lid like this that was from the candle you know this little thing and I, I'll take it and I'll put this over the shade, when I'm through with it, I just sit this down over the top of that shade and it and walk away. It puts it out. But no, I, I don't burn candles all over the house. But what I do, what I do with all the candles you see me buy is, uh, well, I give them away. I give them to people who visit. I give them to my uh, family members because I know they like it. They like candles. I know women like candles. So how I use my candles is, like I said, I only burn the one. And the rest of the, most of the candles, well, I got them stored in a drawer uh, that I'll move in and out, uh, change up or give away, whatever. I have them stored away. But uh, the ones that I have out, I uh, don't burn. I sit, I sit them in a place where I need scent. And I just remove the lid like that, and I leave them. You know, it's kind of like a car scent that you buy, uh, and it puts out a smell. But, and I don't take this the wrong way, but I have a few, quite a few in my bedroom, and that's because I just, my husband stinks, okay? <laughs> I just... You know, and I, I have them in the room, and I open them at night. And actually, he opens them because he says he can smell it when he goes to sleep, and he likes it. So um, anyway, and I have some in the bathroom that are open. Uh, I, once in a while, I'll just, I'll just close them down, and this scent will build back up. You know, it, it don't take long for it to build back up in a day. And then I'll come back that evening or something. Or whenever I pass, it's not like it's a hard job. And I just undo it and, and set it down there. And um, it, it has a nice scent. Um, but that's, that's my answer to the question. What do I do with all those candles? Uh, do I have them burning everywhere? No, no. <laughs> no, I don't. But... Uh, Anyway, that's the answer to the candle deal. I have a weakness for them. Uh, I don't really wear very much, I don't wear much perfume hardly at all. But I, I like, uh, I like a, you know, a scented candle. And, uh, but that's what I do with them. And when I go in different stores, the price, the price of those candles is terrible. Even over at, Walmart where they're cheap, they're still too high over there. And I don't even fool with those at all. But um uh, yeah, I I like candles, but I don't really care about burning them. Now, here's the thing I do think about. Our utilities goes out from time to time. And I got matches and I got candles. And if I need them in certain parts of the house when the utilities go off, and they do, they utilities go off all the time. And 
the lower income areas are the last to get their utilities turned on. So, I mean, I'm I'm at living in the older part of town, and as everybody who lives in older parts of town know that that uh, we get our utilities last. So, but anyway, I'll be quiet for a minute and you can watch the fire. Drink some of this coffee. This does get hot. Well, daylight is coming, so uh, I think I'm going to shorten this video because I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but my morning videos sometimes load down after lunch. So, and if, if you don't have them very long, they, it takes forever to load them down. But anyway, I'm going to cut this one off so I can get it loaded down. And uh, it's been a pleasure this morning being here with y'all. And thank you. Thank you to everybody, and uh, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.